All right, she said she'd be here. I don't uh, see her anywhere here. All right, where the heck is she? What is that sound? Jean, you in here? Oh, you are in here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm working hard. I see. I, how's that wine? Good? good. All right, life's good. So we, I, I, was, <laughs> I, I was like looking around for you for the next episode. We were talking about the tub. You must have I misunderstood me. <laughs> I said, we're going to talk about the tub, not test out the tub. And so how is the tub? The tub is nice. nice. Yeah. It was, is warm. it was worth getting rid of the old head in here for the tub. <laughs> yes. Okay. It would have been nice if we had room for another head. Yeah. I was hoping for a composting head and one flushable head, but I like the tub. Gotcha. Okay. And it's not an ordinary tub. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's jets going. Got the jacuzzi, that's that converted tub stuff. Well, hey, I don't want to give it all away, so let's go ahead and go back to the beginning and tell them all about how we did it. Give you a quick tour here just so you can see what's going on around here. Uh, obviously, when we bought the boat, it didn't look like this. <laughs> uh, that was me tearing it apart. Um, okay, so come back in this area back over here. Uh, just a quick tour of the mess I got going. Like I said, so keeping all my tools pretty much back here. Yeah, the microwave's in the bathroom because <laughs> that's a good place for it, isn't it? All right, so, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm basically tearing it apart. Pulled pretty much everything out of the boat that uh, didn't need to be in it while I worked on it. And here's the engine room. He's a little dark. <laughs> I'll show you that later. Who wants to see that? Yes, I really have an engine room. Okay, controls, the freezer, the bar, always important. And settee, a lot of tools, and hey, look, there's a big old workbench right there. Uh, come over here to the galley, which we are going to remodel as well. So this is going to be all redone. Uh, one of the things I have done in the bathroom. Okay, so time to start the remodel. So the first thing was was tearing out the head. The water that thing shoved down a 20 so foot tube. It would fill the tank up in five flushes or so. And this had a had an electric toilet and it had a, a vanity already in it. Uh, so I did pull those out and donated those to the local consignment shop. Man, that vanity was heavy. So then we started pulling all the wiring and the tubing and figuring out where all the electricals, you know, were coming and going from. The other thing is I wanted this is, wanted this to be a wet room, and it was already. But the problem is I found out that the drain pan wouldn't drain. Then found out the drain tube was actually in a loop going up. It went down and then came up in a loop and back down. Quickly fixed that and got that fixed up. There is a large tube that was in there that drained directly out to the out of the boat through a seacock. So I kept that because I figured I'd probably use that as a drain for the tub. So while I have a captive audience, <laughs> do you remember what um, how we came up with the idea for the tub? I didn't want to live on a boat. Back to that again. <laughs> I didn't want to give up all the things that I liked about a house, and one of them was I liked to soak in the tub. And I remember when I started looking at tubs, I thought, you know, hey, I could, you know, take out this whole thing and make a tub in here. And it really became a problem when I um, found out size-wise, getting it through the companionway and trying to get it through the hatches. How can I get this without cutting up the companionway? Um, so, and then we looked at, uh, I think we looked at what? Uh, uh, Japanese soaking tubs to try and get in here. I think we tried that too to see how that would work. Because the Japanese soaking tubs Although they had a smaller footprint, they were wider and too wide to come down through one of the hatches. The tub seems to work. I, I, I think it worked out pretty well, you know, with the, the composite decking and the fact you can fill it up higher than a normal tub. And, and obviously, you can do bubbles, <laughs> which that looks very nice. Those bubbles look very comfortable. <laughs> In fact, you look very comfortable. They <laughs> am. So, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish editing the video of episode while you continue soaking I guess so. I will give you my four full evaluation when I get out. Okay, sounds good. <clears throat> Now it came down to picking the actual tub. Finally found one at Home Depot. 
Uh, it was a actual metal tub. I was, I was looking for fiberglass, but I couldn't find a fiberglass one small enough. So the one thing I had to do is I wanted to cut into the closet to create a place to lean your head back. So and the closet, top of the closet really wasn't used much, so that was not a big deal as far as cutting into it and getting it. The two shelves that were there, I was going to reuse those, so those are still up there and I had to alter them slightly. Leveling on a boat is unique. I mean, uh, luckily, I'm pretty level um, fore to aft, front to back. Uh, however, not so much uh, port starboard. I, I, my boat tends to lean a little bit to starboard, so I had to keep that in mind any time I pulled out the old level. Okay, so we got the tub in, and the next thing I wanted to do was, I had found, did a, I did a lot of searches on the internet, and I found where you could convert a tub into a jacuzzi tub. It had all the tubes and heater and jets and stuff, so I ordered that and started working on that, and I, God, I had so wished I'd gotten the fiberglass tub at this point, because I had to drill holes, big three, two, three-inch holes, in a steel tub, and each one took forever, so, because I didn't want to, I'm just trying to not blow out all my drill tools. Um, speaking of tools, I did have a chop saw right in the middle of the boat. Um, that stayed there for the longest time because that gave me some good clean cuts. It was quick. It made a huge mess all over the boat. There was usually a good one inch of sawdust all over the floor on the boat, which I'd clean every three months or so. But especially when I started cutting the decking for inside the tub area. Now, the one thing I wanted to do was I wanted to raise up the edges of the tub so that you could fill it all the way up. Um, and the overflow drain, I plug that up because I don't want it to really overflow and go anywhere. I want it to fill past that and go all the way up. I mean, who doesn't shove wax in the, up, up in their overflows that the tub can fill up more? So I also added sides using Trex decking that you get from just Lowe's Home Improvement Store. Uh, so I increased the height of that so you could really fill the tub up. And it also, if you're if you ever find yourself having to be at a, a marina that's got some waves or you're out on anchor and you still want to do the tub thing, the waves it'll slosh around but it won't slosh around so badly that it'll just empty the tub uh, but again it is a wet area so it will drain if it does actually slosh over i had to find a way to get up to the tub since i made the tub pretty high up it was pretty high uh, so i had to build a platform to actually get up there so it made it easy to get into the tub two types of faucets uh, one of the faucets is a freshwater faucet and with an extension it comes out it's one of the sprayer handle like ones that come out of the head the head just pops out and it's got a couple spray settings on it and she wanted specifically one that had a little button on it that would actually while you're holding it could shut it off and stop it and then let go you turn it back on so kind of remote start stop kind of thing on the one faucet and that was the fresh water from the fresh water tanks uh, the other one's a raw water faucet and has a separate switch next to it and that pulls it from whatever water we happen to be sitting in Hopefully, it's Bahamian water. And then I also mounted back in the same area behind the faucets the switch for the heater to turn the heater on. You can run it without the heater. Now, the heater doesn't heat it up. It just maintains the heat that's already in there. Uh, we had this old, you know, 1970s car vinyl headliner, basically, that when you touched it, and it had little dots in it and stuff, you know, little holes. And if you touched it, the thing would just crumble. I was looking around and found that... Uh, some PVC wainscoting or B board sometimes they call it uh, at Lowe's just the local home improvement store and the PVC made it nice it was flexible so it made it easy to kind of move it move it around and the first test was the bathroom to see how it fit and then I showed the, the Admiral some pictures and we did convert to LED lighting uh, using RV lights basically I had an RV so I was used to those kind of lights you'll find me installing those throughout the entire boat pretty much because when we first got the boat I mean it only had two light uh, what three lights in it one in the main area one in the back one in the front uh, the other thing that has to go along with this well this is a tub <laughs> it's you know easily 20 30 gallons of water I have a six gallon water heater that's not gonna work so you can see the old water heater here all six gallons of it isn't it great and then this one, all 20 gallons of it. So that's the 20 gallon, that's the new one. Uh, I had to buy some extra connectors and stuff, so, um, and some extra hose. Yep, got some new hose I gotta put in, and got some treated two by fours I'm gonna use to lift it up so that the wires that are running already underneath it have clearance. So, and that will be in the engine room in here.
which uh, it's going to go in that little section right over there. And you can see some of the tubes and stuff already. So, all right, so we're going to work on that. I got to get the tubes and the boards in there. And uh, we'll see if we can get this sucker in here. <laughs> so you can see I got the area all set up. I've got two by four treated wood screwed down into there at various points. Got the wires running underneath it, so uh, the heater won't actually be sitting on the on the wires. It'll be sitting on the two by fours. Real trick here now is to see if I can get this bad boy in here, which is going to be tight with the this inverter up here I got about, uh, it is going to be tight <laughs> so this should be a whole lot of fun to watch <laughs> okay now it's the time to pray filter for the generator that's blocking the way in. All this for hot water. <laughs> okay, it's not uh, not the play nice back there. So it's one of the hose, one of the metal hoses is caught up and pushing back on it, and then it's not clear. Let's see if I can get it. back here and so 20 gallons of water is absolutely worth it oh my god now when you're looking at this water you're probably like what's all this stuff here cold inlet hot outlet drain there's also an anode that can go in there to help it from corroding I might do that pressure relief here they say to do this every so often like at least once a year just to relieve pressure which obviously releases a little water too so that's why it's a drain hose these two right here you're probably wondering what are those those are if i want to hook it to the cooling system on the engine uh right now i'm not doing that but i wanted the option so i have it there um you know if i decide later on that hey <laughs> we're doing a lot of cruising with the motor and stuff and hey i really need to do something with that and i'm like okay well then I can just go ahead and attach it, so that's what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to screw those down and then attach here and here and get the uh, whole hot water, cold water thing going here. 
So, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsor, which is going to be Aleve and Aspirin and Tylenol and I'm going to need a freaking Excedrin too, and probably Budweiser would be a good one. Although I'm thinking more of a mixed drink. Like a painkiller. There you go, now that's a freaking drink. This is a cold part. Um, they had a valve on there before, so I'm going to keep the valve so that if you need to shut the cold water off from going in there, you got the option. See, here's my uh, black is hot, white neutral, and ground. And there's a reset button right there. Considering I have a bathtub on a boat, I don't think it would be a good idea to have more hot water than not. And since we're going to be a live aboard, why not? Make it a home. <sighs> yes, and if I were rich, I would be doing any of this. <laughs> I'd have someone else do it. Of course, if I were rich, I wouldn't even have this boat. I'd have a bigger boat. <laughs> yeah, this kind of stuff that gets me all the time. There we go. How about that? That was easy, huh? All right. So that allowed me to get the cover on. And I'm bleeding. Yay! Wouldn't be a job if I didn't bleed all over something. <sighs> Always good to feel a little something for yourself in everything you do. Now, I want to give it a good loop. I was going to buy angled elbows to do this, but I just couldn't, couldn't get the right size. So, I went ahead and just said, well, I'll make it a good loop on it. Because you make sure you don't want to do this to where it might... Um, pinch. I don't want this pinching, so I'm going to create a pretty big loop here. Um, that should be good. So, I've uh, got them clamped down. Water hose is set up. I've uh, got the pump on, so when I turn this on, we should hear the pump kick on. Yep, okay, and it's pumping water into the tank. Now, I don't have 20 gallons of water on board, so I'm not going to let it fill all the way up. I uh, probably am going to have to yeah, release the air as it fills up the first time or so. Um, I don't have the electricity hooked up right now, so I'm just testing for leaks. I just finished installing the hot water heater. Um, so I'll let it heat up for about a couple hours. That's 20 gallons. Sorry, I gotta get the camera situated. Hey, there we go. Alright, let's see what we got here. Whoa! She's hot. Okay, uh, it is hot, so right now the temperature gauge is reading 80, 90, sorry. Just stick that sucker in and finally we got 100, 110, 100 and coming up to 120. I don't remember the um, Now I'm just showing this for fun because... It got up to 140 after three hours of cooking. Um, and then it stops, looks like it stops at 140. That's 120 right now, heading up to 130. <laughs> so the nice thing is that'll be great uh, for the hot tub jacuzzi in that when I'm putting water in it, you know, it'll be nice and hot. And when I do a mix, it'll be like perfect. See, right now it's at 130. Uh, like I said, uh, when it was fully cooking there, I had it up, it was up to 140. Um, so anyway, so predictable with that that's working good oh my gosh you're still in here <laughs> I, I just finished editing the episode so I just wanted to <laughs> hi, hi. <laughs> so um, you're still in here <laughs> oh my gosh um, so we went I went over all everything that we talked about which you know doing the ceilings the lighting putting in the Trex decking all the um, how I put in the tubing and the converted tub and the storage and everything and talked about the heater putting the, the bigger heater in there and um, I think that's um, everything that I do you talk about how we plan for this to be multi-purpose no I don't think so I might have okay over there on that wall mm -hmm. is a clothes rack oh right that comes clothes. over here so hey why don't you stand up for a second I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that sticks up there. Okay. So then we've got a clothesline, so, and it comes with these little hooks. Where'd you get this at? Amazon. Did you? Okay. 
So it's and got little hooks like on here. And towels and bathing suits mm -hmm. and such, and it just strips in the tub. Gotcha. Um, and then it comes off and, and like a wet locker. It comes back. Um, we also hmm. plan to use this for soaking our scuba gear with fresh water. Yep. We do have, did you talk about the two faucets? I think I did, yeah. I talked about the fresh water and the sea water. Now our fresh so. water here isn't too fresh. Or should we, we call that it? Bahama water soon? <laughs> <laughs> we can pump Bahama water in there. And that Duck Creek, for not so much. Where you catch <laughs> yeah. food, seafood that you want to keep in here. Yeah, we, we could actually run this as a live a live bait well and <laughs> put the jacuzzi going. I wouldn't want to turn the same. heater on because it would cook them in there. <laughs> not that warm. Um, no. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we could do our scuba gear, clean that off. Oh, laundry. You know, laundry. Clean laundry in here. We could also, we were thinking about using it for a big party tub, throwing a bunch of ice and drinks and beers and all sorts of things in there. I don't have anything oversized that I want to wash, like yeah. dishes. Dishes but could be in here. right over there. Yep, yep. So. so the tub has a lot of unique uses to it. So <laughs> we'll probably find out some more as we actually start cruising. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, um, well, um, we have storage for towels and toiletries yeah, over here. Gel, we yep. found this this um, hanger. Oh, I didn't talk about those, I don't think. This unique, where did we find that at? Amazon. Amazon, another great place to find stuff. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it, it, it's very neat looking, but it also actually works as a hanger. We wanted hanger something some stuff, that so. on a boat, you know, you get, never know when you're gonna get tossed and we didn't want something <clears> that if you get tossed about, it. you might get hurt. So yeah. when you're not using it, it pushes it up. Pushes up. Yep. Um, it stays out of the way. When we brought the boat home the first trip, I kind of took out the towel bars. <laughs> yes, At did. one point, <laughs> I was up in this head, and we had some waves, and I grabbed the towel bar. And and took it, it out. out. That was the second one. <laughs> the towel holders were and just I, held in by screws. They weren't meant to hold. They were to get weight. <laughs> And they, grab bars. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we don't have any towel bars, but we do have more grab bars now. You have grab bars now, yep, which you'll see in later videos that, yeah, we have grab bars in the bathroom. So, so safety first. Well, I think that's about it for the tub. I think we have for this mermaid episode. Hook for what? Like oh, the mermaid hook to go with the whole beach theme. Yeah, very nice mermaid. So, nice shells. Oh, and uh, <laughs> you have shells on? <laughs> Can I see I if you do. have shells on? I do have shells. <laughs> Hold on a second. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> I gotta keep this. Hey, don't do that. <laughs> my oh, put that back on. <laughs> there you go. Um, all right, so um, that's it for today. And thank you. And I guess I'll leave you to <laughs> keep soaking. <laughs> So what are you doing now? <laughs> hey, I'm done editing. <laughs> I'm good. It's over. <laughs> oh, so you're still watching. Please hit like and subscribe now. So there's a button. I think it's down like there or there. Is it there? There. Because there. if you're watching the screen, it'd be over here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so subscribe's over there. <clears throat> um, what, let's try that again. Subscribe is best, as we only do these videos every so often, and subscribing will let you know when we post a new one. Please stay tuned for our next episode, but we're not sure what it'll be. And we're not sure when it'll be. That's a good point, too. <laughs>